so in this video i've got an exciting breakdown for you and it's, it's really interesting because inyaki williams about two days ago was representing ghana in the half corner when he was brought out brought on around the um, 80th minute for the blasters of ghana and just two days after inyaki williams is in spain playing for athletic Bilbao, and he scored a crucial a crucial goal for athletic Bilbao to win 4-2 against Barcelona in what was an important game for Athletic Bilbao and Athletic Bilbao has knocked Barcelona from the um, from the Copa del Rey uh, from the Copa del Rey and Iñaki Williams was the one who caused this it begs this question that why why Iñaki Williams is not firing for the Black Stars and Iñaki Williams get to Spain and he's a hero so let's get started now guys so Iñaki Williams was brought on the 59th minute because he didn't arrive early and wasn't able to join the Athletic Bilbao team for for training the 29 year old has been excellent for a little bit but he's been struggling for the blasters of ghana and it begs this question why he's not really performing for the blasters but you know what in the game he plays it in one minute because of the extra time that was added on he played another 30 minutes in the extra time and he scored one goal and he made one assist and he had five total shots and yeah and he created four chances for athletic Bilbao. It's really really interesting because this same Yankee Williams where was a black star just here and he's all over the place. 29 year old uh, Yankee Williams was all over the place and he caused problems. He caused problems. He won seven duels. He won seven duels for, for a little bit bow in this game and he lost one duel and he was all over the place. Even though he was even fouled twice. So his brother Nico Williams scored their fourth goal also for a little bit about the Williams brothers have destroyed Barcelona and qualified to the semi-final stage four of the Copa del Rey. And it's really interesting if you it, because in, in the Afghan, Nyaki Williams uh, played one game, he started the game against um Kivet. Then he, I think he played against Egypt and then he was on the bench against Mozambique. I don't know whether the problem of Inyaki is that he is not he hasn't been able to acclimatize himself with the African football or the coaches at the Black Stars are not able to use him, utilize him very well or he just loves playing for like a bar. I don't really know. But anytime Inyaki Williams has won the Black Stars GSC, it's been it's not it's, it's not working for him. I think probably we need to get a coach that will We'll try and get because Inaki Williams is a big player in Spain. He has this, he has this respect. Even Inaki Williams in reality is bigger than Kudus because when Inaki Williams started scoring for Barcelona, I think I was, a, I was a kid by then. And we need to find a, we need to find a solution for Inaki. So considering the role of Inaki Williams at the Afcon, where he didn't, he didn't really perform. He didn't score any goal. The, he's, I think he scored only one goal for the Blasters in about twelve or thirteen performances. Or 13 matches, Inaki has always struggled in the Black Stars jersey. And just as he landed in Adelaide Bilbao, he scored a crucial goal, and, and Adelaide Bilbao has qualified. So Inaki Williams scored on the 107th minute. So the two minutes was added to the 105 minutes that normally that to the first half of extra time. And Inaki Williams made sure he was going to score the goal. So let me. So in the so in the game, Inaki Williams played as. Uh, so Inaki Williams played as a right winger, right winger in this game, and you can see in your shot that Inaki Williams had it was set up. And in the Blasters, he doesn't have these chances created for him on the right wing. And he kicked the ball, he hit the post, and he kicked the ball back. And Inaki Williams scored a very important goal for the Black for the for Legi Bibao. And Javi was struggling. Javi was struggling to understand what was happening. So Charlie, the goal is so important because Atleti Bilbao has knocked out Barcelona from the Copa del Rey, and it's it's interesting because the same Inaki Williams couldn't deserve, couldn't deliver for the Blasters of Ghana, and the same Inaki Williams delivers for Atleti Bilbao. I think the Blasters of Ghana must get a coach who will bring the best out of this player. I don't think Inaki Williams is bad because if he's bad, he's not going to perform for Atleti. But against Barcelona, you get it, yeah. And when he scored a goal, he went to open his arms like uh, what, what we call the Bellingham celebration. The Bellingham celebration. And Inaki Williams was celebrating like <laughs> he because he scores pain to the Barcelona fans. So the truth is, Inaki is really, really a focused player. He has a he has a serious mentality. Inaki calls the mistake uh, for in the Egypt game, and he comes back to he comes back to his country, and he has this mentality top top mentality goes back to his club and scores it tells you that the problem is not with the it's not the problem is not the player 
he is not he is not known for causing those errors. He is known for scoring goals for Alec Bebao and the black stars of Ghana must must fix these problems. Get Kudus, get get Inyaki scoring, get Kudus scoring, get Jordan scoring, get Semino scoring because they are all performing in their clubs. You get it. So Charlie, that, that's what it is. The blasts of Ghana were, were knocked out. Yankee Williams scores in a game and provides an assist. And Charlie, that, it is what it is. <laughs> Thank you for watching this video. I'll be giving you back to back football content on YouTube. The best years come. Thank you. Bye.